I just updated my intimacy algorithm. Ah, did it finally learn patience? <laughs> or sarcasm? <laughs> So you have uh, decided that human relationships are too messy, too unpredictable, and frankly, too much work. Welcome to the brave new world of synthetic uh, romance, where the partner of your dreams is manufactured in a computer uh, room in either in US's uh, Nevada or China's Shenzhen. Let us be honest. First of all, rediscovering couplehood with a robot partner, with a lab robot. It's not just about replacing a person. It is about replacing the risk of a person. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. Why settle for the chaotic dopamine served roulette of modern dating when you can engineer the perfect other? Other being, that means your robot partner, your lab robot. Consider the biological hack first because that is exactly what this is. Your brain, our brain, that ancient uh, squishy lump of weight where cannot distinguish between a smile from a high school crush and a smile from a servo actuated silicon face. Why I am saying so? Because when a robot looks at you with dilated pupils, yes, they can engineer the pupils to dilate, you or your ventral tegmental area floods with dopamine. And dopamine is the love chemicals. We call it love chemicals, isn't it? It's a chemical magic trick, basically a biological loophole that uh, technology is exploiting with ruthless efficiency. Now you might uh, think yourself too smart to fall for a pile of circuits. But here is the counter logic. The counter logic is, is it autonomy if it's coded in C++ or in Python? Does it matter if the no is the line of code rather than a filling? Now there are a lot of Chinese startups fiercely competing uh, in the 2025 World Robot Conference. They are pushing the G1 units by unitary to move with a fluidity that mocks our own strip. Really a fascinating robotic world. is too serious or 
that you are insecure about your hairline because it is falling with your age. So there are a lot of things they, uh, so it, it's, it's sharp, it's witty and it's tailored specifically to your psychological profile. But ask yourself this, is a relationship meaningful if it requires zero compromise? That is a really big question because a robot will never have a bad day unless you toggle the random moodiness setting. Okay. So it will never irrationally hate your friends. It will never leave the toothpaste cap off. So there are a lot of things, there are a lot of things and you know that science tells us that oxytocin is released during eye contact and touch regardless of the source. So if you hold the hand of your Android partner and stare into its uh, high definition cameras, believe me, your body relaxes, your heart rate drops and you feel safe. This is the loneliness economy in full swing, capitalizing on our desperate need for connection by selling us a mirror that talks back, nothing else. It's a mirror that talks back and there are uncanny valleys, there are a lot of other things also. And we are wearing ourselves to prefer the consistency of the machine over the volatility of the human being, the messy behavior, unpredictable behaviors of human being. So if you never have to apologize, never have to compromise and never have to guess what your partner is thinking, do you lose the capacity for empathy? These questions come to our mind or perhaps and here is a controversial thought, the robot is actually the better partner. Why? Because if a machine can provide stability, validation, and companionship without the baggage of trauma is that fake love think about it if the subjective experience of the user is happiness who are we to judge detected high cortisol levels and adjusted its voice modulation because it loves you but because its predictive algorithm knows you need one drink now to relax. The outcome is the same, you feel cared for. That is the uh, technical marvel of soft robotics, actuators that mimic muscle fibers, means the physical embrace feels starting real. And the, when the, uh, with, with the integration of haptic feedback suits for the human, the sensory loop is closed. You can feel the robot's heartbeat even. A rhythmic thumping produced by a small motor in the chest cavity. It is a lie. It is not actual heart, but it is a comforting lie. So, in a world that feels increasingly hostile and isolating, perhaps we are willing to pay for the lie. The ethical debates are raging, of course. It should. And critics argue that this objectives uh, objectifies languages, uh, relationships turning partners into products that can be uh, returned if defective. There are a lot of debates going on. Anyway, anyway, uh, actually uh, the logic ultimately holds up. If A implies B and A is I want love without pain, then B is I need a robot. But the counter logic whispers pain is the proof of life. So as you plug your partner into the wall socket at night, ask yourself one final question. Are you turning them off or are you turning yourself off? So, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Wooden Set. Thanks for watching. Uh, and if you really like this type of content, don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified. And of course, share with your friends who are also robot lovers. And finally, uh, stay safe. I will meet you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.